Hello, Taurus. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your July love reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what works. Leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, check the description box below. It has all of the links. And if you would like to reach out to me on the Instant Go app, it is now available for Android. Okay, so just look for it in your Google Play Store. And the link to my profile on Instago is in the description box below. Okay, Taurus, so I've already pulled your cards. And um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers on the Major Arcana. And let's take a look and see first what your Romance Angel love message is. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So... This energy is swirling around you right now, okay? And the people that you are connected to. Uh, somebody is healing perhaps a family situation or um, healing a relationship or healing, um, trying to forgive parents, something that happened with parents. So there's a position an energy from the past here where high value was placed on something, perhaps a person or a relationship. Okay. It could have been, um, somebody was placing someone on a pedestal or had placed someone on a pedestal. Um, if you're female watching this, this could have been a male who a bit muscular upper arm, not so much in the legs, but, um, fit, youthful type of energy, could have been an earth sign, or um, just someone who looked at the relationship, idolized it some way, idolized the connection, idolized you, <clears throat> felt very excited about the connection. And it really, I just feel like was all that that person could see. Okay, couldn't see anything else that, were, that was going on around them. Um, they may have been in a place of offering like a gift or a ring or just placing high value or showing high value. I'm feeling like that youthful, excited energy. Sorry if you can hear the rain. We have a huge storm um, rolling through. So maybe that's significant of something. Okay. Um, so I do feel like that energy was playing out in the past. Maybe it was a love connection or something, somebody idolizing money or putting money in front or was excited about having a connection where there could be building, like, like building done in this connection, okay? Current energy is temperance. This is Sagittarius energy, okay? So not necessarily Sagittarius, but it could be for some. We also have Libra, Scorpio, and air energy. Okay. So what I want to say here about this is that divine timing is working within this connection. Okay. There's an, there's an element of peace, harmony. And I feel that somebody is struggling to have communication. Okay. Uh, it's a challenge to communicate. And I feel like it's because the universe is putting together uh, all of the elements and ingredients needed to bring back the two of cups ele uh, energy into this connection. Um, and with this queen of swords energy, I feel it's like there's a desire for communication, a desire to work things out, a desire to overcome issues to actually talk but universe god spirits not allowing that to happen right now um, because the timing is off okay and it may have something to do with needing to heal some past issues okay bringing harmony into all relationships all around all connected or healing family things healing issues with children, <clears throat> excuse me, healing issues with parents. 
All right. What's driving this read reading is <laughs> celebration to have a reunion, reconciliation, happiness, joyousness, um, a desire to um, be out socializing with others. There are sisters in the situation as well. A desire to um, enjoy as many joyous communication, uh, joyous events as possible to go out and, you know, celebrate with others. And the three represents communication. So there's a desire maybe to communicate on social media with other people um, or to be more active in uh, connections with others. Well, maybe perhaps if you're well, male or female, more connections with other females, but in a, um, not in a romantic way, but more of like a friendly way. Okay. Now what's crowning the reading is the three of swords. So somebody definitely is feeling the pain of heartbreak. It's on their mind still. They haven't fully healed from this, either you or this person. Um, there is an energy of maybe there was a third party involved in the situation or a disagreement. Some of you want to um, repair arguments um, and come back into union with two other people or three other people um, with friends and family. And again, healing some type of family issue, healing a love relationship. Okay, some of you may have felt like someone you were connected to had way too many, um, if you're female or whichever, had way too many females around them. Okay, and that maybe that was heartbreaking to some degree. Maybe there was communication about that and that communication or that maybe argument or whatever it was, involvement of other people is still clear and present in the mind. It's still weighing heavily on the mind. But going forward, we have justice. So I feel like things are going to actually work out. Now, usually justice represents a verdict, balance, um, favor. Not always, but it's more, a le more or less an energy of um, it may not be what you want, but it's, it is, will be what you need. Okay. So let me clarify the justice card just to see. Okay. Waiting for a verdict, waiting for justice, waiting for karma. Somebody's waiting for karma to come back around for something that was hurtful or something that was done. Um, because I do feel somebody put out good energy into a situation. In other words, their intentions were good, but it may not have been received well. We have three, three, and three. All of this has a lot to do with communications. Okay. And I feel like there may have been miscommunication as well. I feel like a situation that has occurred is all based on a miscommunication or things being taken out of context or words being said that were misunderstood or um, somebody saying something that was very hurtful, but they did not mean it to go that way. Or they did not mean to say certain things. Um, could be a lot of reasons why someone, sometimes this can be a card of um, maybe a bit of gossip or just um, communicating with saying things to a lot of different people. Okay. Um, and I do feel somebody's waiting for communication for things to be made right. For things, for justice, for karma to come back around, good or bad, um, positive or negative, but for things to be fair, they're waiting for fair karma, fair justice. So there may have been some type of communication that was put out or that will be going out and somebody waiting to hear back. Your advice in this position and position of you is, um, you know, don't make any decisions right now about a connection because it's obviously unclear at this point still. Um, 
it's just as if everything else is pretty clear. Everything else um, there's clarity on about what the op other options are or what to do in particular situations. But this one particular situation, there's a lack of knowing. This can be um, with that little ghost there. There's an energy of um, somebody may have been ghosting you and uh, are not being clear with you uh, and leaving you guessing. Okay. So in that case, um, the advice is not to commit to anything yet until you receive clarity about some type of communication or a situation, um, not to make any decisions yet because you will not really know what to do. Uh, you have to wait for clear evidence of facts or of what you, uh, you know, I'm hearing what comes around goes around. <laughs> and until that happens, I feel like you're not able to do anything. And I do feel like there are many choices. You have a lot of options, but it's saying not to make, uh, not to commit to anything just yet. This position here of what's external to you and the person you're possibly de dealing with, um, they're going through a huge, huge transformation, a huge change. They may be dealing with the death of death of a family member or a friend. Um, this is not predictive. This is something that is could already be occurring with them, um, or a loss of something, and it's changing them in a very profound way. And I'm hearing epiphany. I'm also hearing uh, someone going to Jesus, oh, well, or going back to church, or going to Pope, or or receiving blessings in, in order, um, asking for grace, receiving blessings in order to move forward. Okay. Uh, Taurus, I have to tell you, I feel like, um, this person is asking for forgiveness for all the women they've been with. <laughs> As I was saying in one of my daily, I can I guess I was talking to, I, think I was talking to Lady Rose. I was telling her, um, I was doing a little reading the other night um, in regard to, you know, the elements in Tarot. And as I always say, the wands can represent a phallus symbol. And I, I found out that the cups can represent the female reproductive system as it very much can be shaped like a uterus. And I read that and I just thought, wow, <laughs> gee, it didn't, never even occurred to me, but if you can see, um, I feel like whoever the person is or was or whomever they are that you were dealing with <clears throat> had many um, trysts with women. And um, this person kind of like was proud of that. They were proud of that. And uh, the thing is that this is the Nine of Cups. And the card that comes after this is the Ten of Cups, which is marriage, commitment, you know, happy family, all of that, this person could never quite get there. So instead they always settled for another female, another female, another female, one after the other, after the other. Um, for some of these could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. If not, it's just whoever your person is. Um, and I feel like they were quite smug about this. It was an ego trip for them. And I feel like, um, they're actually coming to this place now where, um, quite honestly, Taurus, I feel like this person, you are their person. You somehow managed to turn a player into a committed person, but they weren't quite ready for that at the time. Um, they were more focused on the idolization of you and not really seeing you for who you are. And guess what? I feel like there was a loss. Um, perhaps a loss, a breakup of some sort or something ended. And now this person is um, actually like, re I'm hearing repent. <laughs> They're repenting for what the lifestyle that they lived or how they live, because now they're seeing that this was just not fulfilling for them. Okay. Your hopes and fears, you have the eight of pentacles. So you're hoping that, um, I feel like ending it with them, you're hoping that was the right thing that you did. 
And I feel like I, I, I see you here contemplating if you're doubting yourself. Uh, even though like there's a part of you that knows it was the right thing, but you love them and you, and you really want healing in this connection. And you want to be with this person, but I feel like um, you're not sure whether or not you should communicate with them still, or if you should just leave them alone, or if you should reach out, or if you should just stay slightly unavailable or out of reach. Um, I feel like you're hoping that this person will contemplate investing something back into the connection with you, but you're fearing that they won't or that they will be undecided. But these are your hopes and fears. I, I see this person really going through a major transition in their life in regard to the way they were living. The outcome is beautiful though. The magician is here. So there's going to be an opportunity to manifest a new start with this person. Okay. I feel like they're actually going to be coming towards you. Now the magician can represent, um, it's Mercury ruled. So it can represent Virgo or Gemini for those of you who need to have that information. Otherwise, I feel like this person is actually going to put all of their cards on the table. Now, whatever they've been carrying around the baggage for uh, throughout the years, or whatever their issues were, um, the journey that they were on, I feel like now they're, they're going to come forward, come to the table, be truthful with the sword, um, come with their passions, their emotional truth, uh, proof, right? The infinity symbol waiting for that karma to come back around. And I feel like that's going to happen. I'll pull another clarifying card for that. Um, I really don't feel the need to, but I, I feel like there's healing happening here with someone you're connected to. I feel like their energy or the way that they were behaving it, um, had a lot to do with their, um, oh, had a lot to do with their uh, family. It stems back from their childhood, whatever they saw with their parents or their family members or something, um, you know, realizing the value of their children now. Um, I'm just hearing epiphany and, and profound changes. Okay, clarify, please, the magician. New start, new beginning, new beginning in love, new beginning in every, in every aspect. New manifestation happening here. Yeah, strength, confidence, courage, another major arcana. Um, and... To infinity symbols, karma, the good that you've done, everything is just coming. It's coming full circle. It's coming back around with this person. This is Leo energy as well. It's coming back around, but it's coming back away around in a better way. Um, I feel like this is both of you. Um, one person manifesting a new start and the other person forgiving because there is profound change. And it's not just words. It's not just, oh, I realized I made a mistake or what have you. It's, it's like words with proof backed up because of healing. Now, listen, this energy, you know, could be happening at the end of July, but it could be at any time. It doesn't have to be July. So if July comes and goes and none of this energy plays out, well, if it happens in October, you're going to remember this reading. Okay. Um, I'm just putting July because I have to upload for every month, but just remember the energy is fluid. So it can happen at any time. Um, for some of you, it could be July through August that things will begin to start showing. So let me pull a card from the lover's Oracle. Oh, this just fell out. Okay. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Yeah, so rough patch for sure. Some hard lessons being learned. Um, I don't feel like it's you. It's it's more so maybe you were influenced by things but or by this person, but it's more so their transformation, their change. Um, they realizing that this truly is a sacred union. They valued it in the beginning, but in a very immature way, not as a, 
not even as a knight, more in a very youthful way, uh, immaturity, like, um, like an 18 year old, you know, um, <laughs> who, uh, just acts like a child, someone who just valuing things, valuing the wrong things or just almost like a superficial type of, um, materialistic type of way. Yeah. I feel like they're going through a major change. I really, I like your reading Taurus. I hope that this plays out for you because I do feel like, um, you both do truly love each other. Um, but there was only so much that you were willing to deal with. I, I feel, um, you're really just in this place of, um, trying to live and enjoy your life. And, and in the background, you're just hoping this person does really make major transition and changes and strides and that they do value this relationship and love. And I do feel like that is playing out here. So Taurus, I'm going to leave your uh, reading here for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you would like to get a reading from me, links are in the description box below. And if you are an Android user, one more time, you can um, download in your Google Play Store the Instant Go app and reach me there. And also join me for the daily live readings and the weekend readings. I um, also do questions in there. All right. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. I truly appreciate that and welcome. And I will see you guys later. Bye.